tour with NWA Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Friday night, February 26th, a big card in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. The Bad Street Boys will be in Hopkinsville Saturday night, February 27th. Hot Wrestling coming to Lafayette, Tennessee at the Lafayette Middle School Gym. Don't forget, February 27th in Lafayette. Wrestling at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, a big Friday night card. Friday, March 5th. Wait till you hear who's coming to the fairgrounds. Friday, March 5th. Saturday, March 6th, the big card over in Fairview, Tennessee at the Fairview High School Gym. We're bringing the TV cameras to Fairview Saturday night, March 6th. Returning to Elkton, Kentucky, Friday night. Hey, that's my birthday. Friday night, March 26th, Elkton, Kentucky. Come on the road with NWA Wrestling. If you'd like to bring us to your local arena or local gymnasium, call us right now, 770-621-9533. Well, it's about time. Chris Michaels has got back what is rightfully his, and that's his North American heavyweight title. And you see, people, it's got Colorado kids' blood all over it. You see, some of my friends of mine, we sent Colorado kid on a permanent vacation out of this stinking dump, Nashville, Tennessee. And speaking of Nashville, Tennessee, tonight, right here in the Nashville fairgrounds, I got one of them bad street punks. Well, I love nothing more than to beat some sissies up. So I don't care if it's four or five of you, however many there is, you just show up because you're stepping in a ring with the greatest showman in the NWA and the true North American heavyweight champion. So you bring all you got and you can forget about kissing all those babies and hugging those fat old women. Because when you step in the ring with Chris Michaels, you better have your boots laced on tight because I'm going to give you the wrestling lesson of your life, you stinking sissies. Fern Fox, why don't you get your manager to take your place tonight because it looks like she's more man than you are. You just heard those comments from Reno Riggins. We are joining this match already in progress, and Aaron Fox just made his first tag into the action. How long had this match been going on, Bart Sawyer, before we're he tagged? We're 10 minutes into this match, and that little sissy ran all over the ring. 14 <laughs> minutes, and he just finally tagged in. Uh, I'm excited. And now he's tagging out. Bob, well, you blame him? He's afraid I'll Reno him, start hitting him again. Ah, there's Miss Savannah on the outside. I see that she didn't agree to take his place after all. Yeah, I, I heard she uh, she claims her weight on her driver's license says she weighs 107 pounds. What do you think? Well, uh, Bart Sawyer, to use the, uh, a so-called wrestling terminology, that's one of the biggest works in the business. Ah, oh, absolutely. And uh, speaking of tonight, Nashville, Tennessee, too sexy Brian Christopher returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds with Spellbinder as his tag team partner to take on the Tennessee Vols. Nashville Fairgrounds legends, folks, Brian Christopher and the Spellbinder. You've seen Brian Christopher recently in the WWF with his usual partner, Scott Taylor. Now tonight, he's teaming up with his old partner, the Spellbinder, against NWA North American Tag Team Champions, the Vols. Reno Riggins and Stephen Dunn, you think they had their hands full at this match, they'll sure have them full tonight. Ah, uh, look at Ashley Hudson, the Australian wild man. Uh, one half of the Aussies with superstar Bill Dundee. Ah, uh, we got the boomerang on the pole match. It's a barbed wire boomerang match, Don Cost Jr. Yeah, and no one has, has gotten to it yet. They're both trying to get to it. Uh, yeah, Ashley Hudson, he did a remarkable job holding the entire match for his team since Farron only tagged in for like a total of five seconds. Well, can you blame him? You got the Vols, the top tag team in the NWA, the North American Tag Team Champions, coming after that big sissy, and they got a barbed wire boomerang on the pole. I'd be running if I was him, too. And speaking of running, uh, I want to talk about the conspiracy about cameraman Tim eavesdropping outside the Nashville fairgrounds on myself, Chris Michaels, the stepchild Chad Hawk, and Ernest T. I'm not happy about that at all, but I am happy about the way we busted the melon on the Colorado kid. Did you see him bleeding? That was beautiful. It takes some strange things to make you happy, Bart Sawyer. But oh, absolutely. I loved it. Sent him on a personal vacation, put him on the back of that wrecker, and Ernest T. drove him right out of Nashville. Oh, speaking of driving, looks like Stephen Dunn just drove Ashley Hudson's head into the mat. He caught him trying to go for the boomerang. There's Farron Fox sneaking in to get him a little save on his partner. A hit oh. and run. Oh, Reno. Oh, speaking oh, of Reno Riggins. Now he's wailing on him. 
I'll tell you what, Reno Riggins, I hate to give him credit, but what you got to, he is a spitfire in there, and I think Too Sexy Brian Christopher and the Spellbinder are going to have their hands full tonight against Stephen Dunn and Reno Riggins. Well, they may not be quite as fired up tonight as they were this night because Reno, uh, Farron Fox and Ashley Hudson have really made them angry. I mean, they're, they have all this anger built up to come after them, and tonight they're going to have to rely on nothing but their pure wrestling skills. Now, what do you Brian mean? What do you mean anger? It's a chance that Brian Christopher comes in here, a WWF superstar, um, it's kind of a, a battle of the NWA versus the WWF. I think these guys are going to be uh, fired up. Well, they should be fired up. I mean, they've got a big challenge ahead of them. And if they aren't fired up, if they aren't as fired up as they were on the night that we're watching this match, they could lose those North American titles. Well, I'm here to tell you that the combination of Dumb and Dumber, Stephen Dumb, and Reno Riggins, uh, yes, they're our North American Tag Team Champions. They're going against Spellbinder and Too Sexy Brian Christopher. And uh, I still think my money's on Too Sexy. Oh! oh. <laughs> Barry Fox just made a mistake. Oh, did he? Look at oh. he just saved his friend, but uh, it looks like he's got the cover on Ashley now. He keeps Reno's, squishing Ashley. Uh oh, Reno's, Reno's on top of that pole. And folks, that boomerang is wrapped in barbed wire. I don't know if you can see Shiny it. Shiny right. steel barbed wire. Uh, Stephen Dumb's got the chair. Look they out, call Farron. him the chair. Farron, look out. They call him the chairman of the board. He's no Frank Sinatra, but he is the chairman of the board. Farron, Come on, Farron. Turn around. Oh, bang. oh yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Marty Reno. So happy about this. Stephen Dumb, I got to hand it to him. They knew how to use it. The Tennessee Vols tonight, Nashville, Tennessee. Too Sexy Brian Christopher, the Spellbinder. Uh, who's your money on, Don Cuss? I'm going for the Vols. They're our hometown. They're our company champions. We're going for them. They're going to take care of Brian Christopher and the Spellbinder. Now, I got to tell you, they are dumb and dumber. They can't even spell Vols. They spell it V-O-L-Z. How smart is that? Oh! Oh, uh, it's a double DDT on the boomerang in the barbed wire. I bet Farron is busted open like a can of beans, man. Oh, he's busted open like a stuck hog. Speaking of uh, Barnyard Griggs. Yeah, looks like a sacrifice. <laughs> we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. The Vols. And I think the fans are winners, too. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight at the Nashville Fairgrounds, you're going to be in for a treat because the NWA North American Tag Team Champions are putting our belts on the line. The NWA has gone out and scouted some talent, and they're going to bring an old face back to the Nashville Fairgrounds, Brian Christopher, and he's bringing the Spellbinder with him because he thinks that's the man that can get the job done against the Vols. Well, Mr. Christopher, everybody knows that me and you have a history dating back to 1992 when I beat your behind for the Southern Heavyweight title and kept it. You wasn't the one that got it off of me. So, son, I'm looking for you. Now, tonight, when you come down to the Nashville Fairgrounds, Mr. Dunn and myself, the North American Tag Team Champions, are going to be all over you, my friend. Everybody knows here in Nashville what the Vols do and what we do best, and that's kick people's butts. So we welcome you to the Nashville Fairgrounds. You've been up there with Vince McMahon, hobnobbing with Stone Cold Steve Austin, thinking you're some kind of socialite, some big, just some big wrestling star, but son, you're not. Look into my eyes, son, I'm telling you, as God is my witness. When you come to the National Fairgrounds and you're going to try to take what belongs to myself and this man right here, I get highly emotional about it. Matter of fact, I get upset. So Spellbinder, son, I've seen you all over television. I've seen you in Japan. I've seen you in Canada. You're one tough individual. I'm not taking anything away from you. But please don't come to Nashville with the thought in your mind that you're going to be hopping back on a jet plane and leaving with these. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, and without any further ado, I'm going to give you the man that can take a metal chair and make you wear it like a hat. He's the chairman of the board of the Tennessee Vols, Stephen Dunn. Tonight, boys, you better lace them up tight because it's a real deal. It's not sports entertainment. Nope. It's not the WWF. Nope. It's the NWA. Nope. And you better be ready to go. Christopher Spelldotter for a long time now. For a long time. I'm you've been, jacked up. You've been talking. What, are you jacked up? I'm jacked up, baby. They talk a lot of crap. Well, tonight you got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Tonight, Nashville, Tennessee, it's the Vols. It's Spellbutter. It's Christopher. And you know what? We're going to walk out with the gold. And you know why? Why is that, my friend? Because we're the most dangerous tag team in professional wrestling today. What do they call you? The Tennessee Vols, baby. Beat us if you can.
Congratulations to Team Extreme, the brand new NWA World Tag Team Champions. Coming your way Friday night, March 5th, at the Texas Indoor Speedway Arena, it's a double tag team main event in the first round of the Texas Tag Team Championship. Canyon and Awesome Kong versus Moody's Mob. The Blackbird Posse versus Cruise Control. The winners will advance to the finals on March 12th. In other matches, four-time NWA Texas heavyweight champion Brian Adias takes on Kit Carson. Jimmy James to challenge the son of Playboy Gary Hart, Chad Hart. Chris Germany versus newcomer Trent Atkins. You can keep track of NWA Southwest on the World Wide Web at www.swawrestling.com. That's NWA Southwest, Friday night, March 5th, Texas Indoor Speedway Arena, 7601 Grapevine Highway at Loop 820 West, Fort Worth, Texas. Adults 10 bucks, children under 12, just $5. If you're ready for your own home and money is tight, you're probably asking yourself questions like, what kind of home can we get without a huge down payment? How about top quality homes like these? Or you're wondering, what kind of home can we afford on our income? Say, $35,000 or $40,000 a year. What if you can have one like these? And if your credit isn't absolutely perfect, you might worry, what kind of home can we get if our bank turns us down? What if you could have one of these? Or, what kind of home can we get when we can't afford mortgage payments higher than our present rent? For many people, it's been homes like these. Now you probably want to know, how can I make this happen for me? We're DeGeorge Home Alliance. When others say you can't afford a home, we'll show you how you can. Call this toll-free number for more information, and let's do it. Have you ever lost weight on a low-fat diet and gained it back? I remember once losing 50 pounds and getting it all back and more. I had been on a low-fat eating diet for three years and gained 30 pounds. If low-fat, high-carbohydrate diets haven't worked for you, call now and try the new Protein Power Plan. I've lost 68 pounds, 8% body fat, and I feel better than I've ever felt before. The weight was gone in a couple of months. Drop two pant sizes in 30 days or less while eating the foods you love. It was very motivating as I was losing weight, uh, going from one pair of jeans, one size, down to the next size. I couldn't believe that I could lose weight eating steaks and Caesar salads and brie cheese. They're going to see dress sizes go down rapidly. They're going to see belt sizes and shirt sizes and pants sizes come down quickly. Call the number on your screen and order the new Protein Power Plan. Drop two pant sizes in 30 days or less or your money back. Call now. Look out! And here comes the Red Dog with a chair, and he hammers Kent Carson. Look out, Ken Taylor, promoter Ken Taylor. Promoter Ken Taylor's been hit by Kit Carson here in the announcer's booth. Ken Taylor not made to take the wear and tear of Kit Carson or Red Dog Big God. And they fight outside the ring. As we said, this is an extreme rules, anything goes matchup. I'll tell you what, Johnny T, I don't know if I like it down here. This is pretty close to the action, Johnny T. I'll tell you, I just got it right in the ribs, and I'm, st oh, that hurts, that hurts. Well, Ken Taylor, all I can say about that, with all due respect, better you than me. Uh, oh, I took it right in the ribs. I tell you, I'm sporting right now. I may have took me a few minutes to get my breath back. Being a regular broadcaster out here, I know to sit kind of on the outside, because a lot of times the action here at NWA Southwest spills all over the arena. The announcer's booth out to the floor. We see barbed wire, tables, chairs, stop signs, fire. And we have it all at NWA Southwest, and the fans love it. As I've been saying earlier, you know, the fan of 1998 is a little bit different than the fan of 1985. They want action. They want to see these anything goes matches, and we deliver it to them. Well, I tell you what, it'll get much better than this, Johnny T. I mean, these two guys are really going for all the marbles. I mean, there's a lot of prestige in being the Texas NWA heavyweight champion, and it means a lot in dollars. It means a lot in prestige. This is one of the most honored belts in the country. So these guys are going all out for, the, for the, one of the prize belts in professional wrestling. 
Once again, we want to reiterate that this match, there must be a winner. It's anything goes, so you won't see referee Rick Manning making a count. You won't see referee Rick Manning trying to break up anything. They both agreed to extreme rules, and Jasmine handcuffed to ringside. I guess Kit Carson was afraid of a 100-pound girl. I'm still not sure about that, but I want to make this match happen. If that's all it took, you know, then I want it to happen tonight. I want the real number one contender out there next week. Well, I will say, you know, watching NWA Southwest uh, since its inception, we've seen Jasmine, and, you know, I mean, she might not be big, but, you know, she's if she's there at the right time, at the right place, she can cause just a distraction to throw Kit Carson off his game plan or any other competitor. So, really, it is more of a fair match with her handcuffed at ringside. Oh, uh, more or less, but the same thing applies to Chris Germany, so it's kind of an equal... Uh, Chris has the same kind of situation, so what do you do? Well, that's true, Ken Taylor. Chris Germany, of course, had been sent back to uh, the locker Oh, did you room. see that low blow? And Kit Carson split wide open on the forehead. They're battling with that dog collar. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. and he hammered Rodney right in the face. There's spikes on that dog collar, Ken Taylor. There's spikes on that I, dog yeah, collar. Yeah, there absolutely is. That, oh, that had to hurt. That really had to hurt. Oh, man, he is down. He is hurt. Wow. Whoa, oh, and oh, what is he Carson. doing? Oh, man, he's taking advantage of her now. Trying to kiss Jasmine. Trying to kiss. I think it was more of a choke, Johnny T. I don't know what Kit Carson was trying to do, but they're battling all over the arena. The Red Dog split wide open himself. Both men bleeding at this point. <laughs> Introducing Play from Columbia House, the cool new music club where you get 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95. Shipping and handling is additional. Play's got what you want. Tons of music, but no cards to return and no automatic shipments. And members can order by toll-free phone or online. So get 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95. Grab your credit card and call now to get this special limited time TV offer. 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95 with no cards to return and no automatic shipments ever. All you get is all the music you want. So join now and get 12 CDs free when you buy one for just $9.95. Grab your credit card and call now. 1-800-673-3388. That's 1-800-673-3388. Hey, want to surf the net better, faster, cheaper? Call SurfFree.com, the new choice for online service. All the freedom of the Internet for only 50 cents a day. That's $14.95 a month for unlimited Internet access. No hidden fees or extra charges. Plus free email, a free web page, free software, and a cool homepage and chat groups, too. Oh, and real people for technical support 24 hours a day. Call SurfFree.com now. Only $14.95 a month and a lot of free stuff, too. Satisfaction guaranteed. We promise. Across the globe, across the street. The Red Cross is in your community every day, keeping families safe. But we need you too. Call the Red Cross, because your help can't wait. You're watching the shows you know on KLDT TV 55, Lake Dallas, Fort Worth. And Ken Taylor, I want to make a correction. Earlier where I announced... They, where the did they go? They're over in the back of the arena. I'm going to go around and see if I can get a vantage point on this. As they come back to the ring, I announced the 30-minute time limit. There is no time limit to this match. That's correct. That's correct. They changed their, that's been changed from the program. It's anything goes, no time limit. There must be a winner. This match to a finish, we will have a bona fide number one contender after this bout. And you know, to be honest, as hot as these two are in NWA Southwest and given a bit of a tape delay on our show, by the time fans are watching this, they might be the Texas champion, one of them. Oh. Both I, top competitors. I tell you what, these are two of the meanest and best wrestlers in the NWA Southwest, bar none. You're seeing NWA quality wrestling, hardcore quality wrestling at its best. 
Well, of course, we know Kit Carson, a long history in wrestling, and, and believe it or not, you see the man with the barbed wire and the chairs and the tables was actually an amateur wrestler and an Illinois State amateur champion at that. But you couldn't tell from the way he's bashing people with barbed wire and putting them through tables in professional wrestling. Correct. Both of these guys have a background in amateur wrestling. and they've, they've won a lot of high school and collegiate titles. Oh, Kit Carson tried to wrap that chain around his leg, ended up around the throat of the Red Dog, and then dropped the big leg. Two men hammering each other, and he's got the dog collar in the mouth of the Red Dog. And referee Rick Manning, it's anything goes, Ken Taylor. He can't do anything to stop it. That's absolutely correct. I don't know why these men... He's using chain and nothing, and nothing Rick, Rick Manning can do about it. I mean, it's anything goes. This is man against man. This is going to determine. Fans, Johnny T here with promoter Ken Taylor. You'll see great action like this every Friday night down at the Indoor Speedway in North Richland Hills, Texas. Kit Carson going for the barbed wire. And he's wrapping up the Red Dog in the barbed wire. Kit Carson. Oh, and the Red Dog fires back with a knee. The Red Dog now wrapping Kit Carson up in the barbed wire. They're going to be a barbed wire mess here soon, Ken Taylor. You know what, Johnny T? This is about as bloody as it was last week. I think even more bloody than it was last week. These guys are really bleeding all over the place. Oh, my Lord. Last time we saw these men in the ring, it was a bloody barbed wire mess. We put him back in the ring. We're seeing uh, He's got these eyes, Johnny T. He's got the barbed wire in Red Dog's eyes. Now, I know it's anything goes, but I think referee Manning should Man, step that is really, point. that's really getting critical there. That's really, that's putting, that's pushing extreme to the, to the utmost. Now, I know a lot of these fans like to see this brutal action, but I don't think anybody, save Kit Carson and maybe Chris Germany, that wants to see the Red Dog lose an eye just for the Texas No, title. no way, Johnny T. That's, nothing's worth losing an eye over. But that just shows the title is that important. These men will pull no punches. Exactly right. When you're talking about the Texas heavyweight belt as the spoils of victory, these guys will go about do anything. Like I said, it's one of the most prized heavyweight belts in the entire country and the world. It's a top regional belt. That title propels the holder into top contention for the World Heavyweight Championship. He and just did a headbutt into uh, Kit Carson, and he had barbed wire around his head when he did it. What a, a, a scene we have here. It's almost indescribable what these two men are doing to each other. We're quite a ways into this match, but it doesn't matter because it's a fight to a finish. And they're fighting out behind the bleachers somewhere. I can't even see. They're out behind the bleachers. Kit Carson now has a chair. We got to get him back in the ring. He has a chair. The referee we is out there. We need to get there. security. Get him back in the ring. He slammed Call for the security. Red dog get him back in the ring. Kit Carson slamming the Red Dog with the chair. We got to get security. Get him back in the ring. I can see just a this little bit. This thing's out of hand. Get him back in security. Get him back in the ring. Ken Taylor calling to get him back in the ring, but really they can't do anything because this match is anything goes. Whoa, fan scatter as Kit Carson brings the Red Dog back to the ring. Get people to get people to get down. Get them in the seat. Please clear out from ringside. We'd like the fans to get back to their seats and stay away from the ringside area. It's too dangerous. Phil Brown, Phil Brown, our security 316, making sure all the fans are safe during the fights out behind the bleachers. Great job, Phil. And a big splash by Kit Carson onto the bar. Country music on Broadway is coming your way on home video. Over 96 minutes of the best in country music. Here's some of the stars you'll see. Ralph Emery. Big welcome for Big Bill Anderson. Still Porter Wagoner, George Jones, Berlin Husky, the Wilburn Brothers, Buck Owens, Hank Snow, Hank Williams Sr., 
Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs, Skeeter Davis, Stonewall Jackson, Will Malie and Stoney Cooper, the Duke of Paducah, Hank Williams Jr., Audrey Williams, over 30 great songs. Over an hour and a half of great country music, call toll-free 1-800-380-3023 or send check or money order to Country Music on Broadway, Post Office Box 604-33, Nashville, Tennessee, 37206. When you've got a serious leak, it's time for Leak Ender 2000. It fixes any leak fast. No matter what's leaking, just spray it with Leak Ender 2000. And in minutes, the leak is sealed. Look, we'll cut this garden hose with a knife, then shut off the water and spray on Leak Ender 2000. Minutes later, the hose is as good as new. The cut is sealed. Leak Ender 2000 is a unique compound that fills and seals any crack or separation as it hardens. Why put up with gushing gutters, dripping drains, wet windowsills, and rain-soaked RVs. Leak Ender 2000 stops all those leaks, and it's yours for only $14.95. Call now and we'll double your order. We'll send you this giant size can at no extra charge. Order now. To order your Leak Ender 2000, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-462-5959 or send check or money order for $14.95 plus $4 shipping to the address on your screen. Call 1-800-462-5959. Yes. Red Dog. Ken Taylor, what about that? I can't believe he did that. He just came straight down on top of him, right on top of that barbed wire laying on top of Red Dog. Unbelievable. I've He's, never seen... Where's the threshold of pain here? <coughs> this is guys experiencing any pain, and this is unreal. Unbelievable. Any type of honor or amateur rules out the window in this match. Those barbed wires, spikes come out anywhere to a quarter inch to a half inch outside of the wire. And Rodney Begnaud going for the old adage, eye for an eye, as he tears into the skin around the eye of Kit Carson. We could have two one-eyed jacks after this match, Ken Taylor. That can't be good for business. <laughs> no, we don't want anybody to get that hurt. But I tell you what, this certainly has to be one of the best matches we've had all year in the NWA Southwest. These guys are going all out for the right to be the next heavyweight champion, possibly, and fight for that right next week. These guys are really going all out. I tell you what, Ken Taylor, you want to talk ECW, you want to talk Big Japan, you want to talk FMW, well, you've also got to talk NWA Southwest when you look at a match like this. I tell you what, I can't see where ECW has anything on this because this is about as way out as you can get. This is this is almost crazy tonight. It's nearly out of control, and Jasmine, Jasmine got out of the handcuff. Yeah, how did she get out of the handcuff? And she's poking, poking Kit Carson in the eye. Somehow she got out of the handcuffs. They must have broke. I don't know what happened. I guess everyone, while everyone was watching the action, began to bleach her oh. and a power bomb. I don't know if he put around on that barbed wire or not. And a two count only. My God, how much more can these guys take, Ken Taylor? It's times like this that I'm glad I'm an announcer and you're a promoter. Oh, my Lord. Kick to the back thighs, and again, the barbed wire comes into play. The spiked dog collars in the ring. Both men bleeding from all areas of the face and body. Whoa. And Kit Carson picking up the red dog once again. What's he going to do here? Small package. One, two, two count only. There we see a little bit of the amateur style from Kit Carson. There hasn't been too much of the amateur style tonight. Tried that spinning toe hold on the Red Dog with the barbed wire. And Ken Taylor. We've got a great bout going on here. Ken Taylor. He's got the dog collar on him, Ken Taylor. What about this? Oh, Lord. Choking him with it. Oh, Lord. I don't see where these guys get the energy. Man, these I don't guys know. Are... You know, Ken Taylor, it's unbelievable the things we've seen here tonight, the length these men will go for that heavyweight title. 
Well, it means a lot of money to the champion. I mean, they make a lot of money. And a they're big the, job. They're the highest paid wrestler in the NWA, so that's what they're looking at, too. A lot of money, a lot of glory goes along with the victory here. The title shot. The winner, of course, to go against the NWA Texas champion, Kit Carson, and a two count only. What blood, guts, and gore we've seen here in this anything goes bout. How much more can these men take? She's a whore. She's a whore. And we see an interesting chant from our fans as the Red Dog Rodney Begnod and Kit Carson get wrapped in the barbed wire once again. I don't know how long these guys have been going for, but I don't think they can take much more. What's going on here? Oh, belly, Lord. Belly They're suplex. both tangled up in the barbed wire. Oh, he took him out. Rodney Begnod, your winner. Rodney Begnod, your winner. If you're ready for your own home and money is tight, you're probably asking yourself questions like, what kind of home can we get without a huge down payment? How about top quality homes like these? Or you're wondering, what kind of home can we afford on our income? Say, thirty-five dollars or $40,000 a year. What if you can have one like these? And if your credit isn't absolutely perfect, you might worry, what kind of home can we get if our bank turns us down? What if you could have one of these? Or, what kind of home can we get when we can't afford mortgage payments higher than our present rent? For many people, it's been homes like these. Now you probably want to know, how can I make this happen for me? Word to George Home Alliance. When others say you can't afford a home, we'll show you how you can. Call this toll-free number for more information, and let's do it. been disconnected? Ace America's Cash Express can get you talking again for just $49. Oh, another phone company money? We can book you up. Get unlimited local calls at 911 Emergency Access now for just $49 a month. No deposit, no credit, no ID. Just look for the big green A sign and fill out a short application. Don't be without a home phone and don't pay more than $49. Come by any Ace today and sign up now. Service provided by ComSouth. Over two million acres of our wildlands burn each year, and hundreds of homes are lost as a result. At least 50 homes were burned to the ground. Dozens more were damaged as fires raced through dense brush and steep canyons. Flames don't know the difference between forest, rangelands, and homes. Learn how you can fireproof your home. For more information, contact your local fire protection agency, state forestry office, or the USDA Forest Service the brand new NWA World Tag Team Champions. Coming your way Friday night, March 5th at the Texas Indoor Speedway Arena. It's a double tag team main event in the first round of the Texas Tag Team Championship. Canyon and Awesome Kong versus Moody's Mob. The Blackbird Posse versus Cruise Control. The winners will advance to the finals on March 12th. In other matches, four-time NWA Texas Heavyweight Champion Brian Adias takes on Kit Carson. Jimmy James to challenge the son of Playboy Gary Hart, Chad Hart. Chris Germany versus newcomer Trent Atkins. You can keep track of NWA Southwest on the World Wide Web at www.swarrestling.com. That's NWA Southwest, Friday night, March 5th, Texas Indoor Speedway Arena, 7601 Grapevine Highway at Loop 820 West, Fort Worth, Texas. Adults 10 bucks, children under 12, just $5. Don, I told you I was going to tell everybody at one time the announcement's coming later in the show, but right now there is a match in the ring. You've got, oh, and Bart Sawyer just met that rope like he didn't want to. You've got Barnyard Briggs and Bart Sawyer in a cowbell on top of a pole match. And Bart Sawyer makes a nice uh, step for Barnyard Briggs to get up there and go after the cowbell. Uh, Bart Sawyer, oh, kicking him off the ropes there. Barnyard Briggs stumbling around. 
Uh, Bart Sawyer trying to make the recovery. Hey, don't forget, fans, keep keep tuned in, because like Farron said, he's going to give the announcements or the results of his test at the free clinic later on in this show. Whatever, Don. Let me tell you, tonight, 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 the Vols are going to be taking on Brian Christopher and the Spellbinder. I can't wait to see. That's a main event in any arena in the country right there. And then you've got who? The Bad Street Boys. Christian York is going to be there. He's going to be against Chris Michaels. Joey Matthews, my personal favorite, against the superstar Bill Dundee. Corey Williams battling Bart Sire, Al Rose, Chad Hawk, a night of action right there tonight at the fairgrounds. It also sounds like a night of superstars to me, Fair, and it's like not a not a no name on the card. They're all all fans. Exactly, favorites. exactly. Awesome and like I said, guys. the Vols versus Brian Christopher Spellbinder. That's a man of in in any country, any arena in the country. Yeah, and uh, it looks like Bart Sire here is going uh, up to the middle rope. Gonna drop a fist on Barry Briggs. Oh, he changed his mind. Decided he'd go for the uh, cowbell right now. Barry Briggs is there to stop him. What is he doing? Oh, oh my gosh. He's going to throw him off the top of the turnbuckle. Oh, jeepers. Oh, my gosh. Ouch. <laughs> ring a ling a ding a ding a ding. That cowbell goes as Bart Sawyer meets the mat right there at courtesy of Barnyard Briggs. And Barnyard Briggs' foot meets Bart Sawyer's chest. And Bart Sawyer kisses the mat hello again. Hello, Matt. Listen, I'm Bart Sawyer. <laughs> I'm telling you what, but I, this was a great match, and every match at the Nashville Fairgrounds is always great. You never see a bad match at the Nashville Fairgrounds. And speaking of good matches, we're going to see the rest of this match and see who does get that cowbell off that pole right after these announcements. Introducing Play from Columbia House, the cool new music club where you get 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95. Shipping and handling is additional. Play's got what you want. Tons of music, but no cards to return and no automatic shipments. And members can order by toll-free phone or online. So get 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95. Grab your credit card and call now to get this special limited time TV offer. 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95 with no cards to return and no automatic shipments ever. All you get is all the music you want. So join now and get 12 CDs free when you buy one for just $9.95. Grab your credit card and call now. 1-800-673-3388. That's 1-800-673-3388. How would you like to make the best investment of your life? You can with First Atlantic Resources. Ever thought about investing in gold, silver, or platinum, but didn't think you had enough money to make a worthwhile return? With First Atlantic's leverage program, you don't need a lot to invest. With as little as $3,800, you can buy $10,000 worth of physical gold, silver, or platinum. In a recent move in the silver market, $5,000 invested would have returned over $12,000 in only six short months. Wise investors have always used precious metals as a hedge against inflation and the stock market corrections. Now you can hedge your investment portfolio with physical precious metals without the risk and time restraints of futures or options. Call First Atlantic Resources today to receive your free information package and find out how you can cash in on the precious metals market. Call the number on your screen today. The call and the information are free. There you go, Don. You see Bart Sawyer has gone back to his male dancing days, and he's working that pole like it ain't nothing. Barnyard's giving him some blows right up there at the top. What's your take on this whole situation? Well, I'll take on this situation. Look at Barnyard Briggs is just rocking uh, Bart's head back and forth. Got, him ring got his own head acting like the cowbell. Ring-a-ding-ding. <laughs> Ring-a-ding-a-ding, ding-ding. And I, uh, this has been an awesome match. And here, Barnyard's got him set up. Big power oh. slam right in the middle of the ring. Alex, Bart Sawyer's hearing a Ricky Ticky song in his head right now. Now, see, you know, pinfalls do count in this match. And you would think, Barnyard Briggs, that's just the green in Barnyard showing, not going for the pin right there. Yeah, maybe he's waiting to knock him down so he can climb up there and get the cowbell and uh, wrap his head in with it. Well, when the books are all said and done, it's going to say win-loss. It's not going to say who got the cowbell. Powerball, Mark Sawyer knocked down by the Powerball. Here goes Barnyard Briggs, trying to get the cowbell. <laughs> he's taking a little time to scream and cheer. What's Mark doing? He's going... Mark Sawyer's going under the ring while, while Barnyard's going up to the top of the pole. Barnyard's got the cowbell. Mark's back in the ring. What is going on here? Farron, do you know anything about this? 
What? Oh, and Bart's got a oh, cowbell too. Look at that. Bart brought his own bell to the ring. <laughs> that's how he won a lot of matches. You know, he brought his own bell. <laughs> yeah, that's like some of those parties, BYOB. But this is bring your own bell. Yeah. I'm loving it. Bart Sawyer. Let me tell you something. He's a he's a cookie, all right. Right there. One, two, and three. <laughs> the referee had no choice but to count it. Bart Sawyer is your winner, and I can't be happier. Bart Sawyer will be in action again tonight against Corey Williams, along with the main event, the Tennessee Balls against Brian Christopher and the Spellbinder. I'm telling you, what a big card of action coming up here tonight at the Nashville Fairgrounds. And, you know, this was a Bruce, uh, gruesome, gruesome match. And I'm sure that Bart Sawyer is going to have some comments coming up after this. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, I bet you people can't wait because it's coming up right after this break. Farron Fox is going to let the cat out of the bag right after this. Oh, life is good for battling Bart Sawyer. You know, the way that I made things happen here in the NWA, battling just ain't good enough. Smart Bart, that's it. The way that I've managed to make things happen. As a matter of fact, I made myself the North American heavyweight champion, and I made Barnyard Briggs go to sleep all in one night. See, that's what I mean. Life is good. You see, Barnyard, they said they was going to put a cowbell at the top of the pole. And I got to thinking, climbing that pole sounds like an awful lot of work. So if I just hit my own cowbell under the ring, oh, I took you out with a bull rope, Barnyard Briggs. See, you're not the only one that can play with farm implements. So Barnyard, when you get yourself together, when you pull that big fat head of yours together, I'll see you down the road. Because life is good. Woo! Smart Bart! You ain't heard gossip until so you've heard my gossip. Call right now. 1-900-950-0511. Follow the prompts to star MCW1. You're not going to believe what you're going to hear. But I promise you, it's the truth. Like I said, you want wrestling gossip? You ain't heard nothing. Forget any of the other numbers. Once you hear this hotline, you'll never call another one but mine any time in your life. Call me right now. I'm waiting. Country Music on Broadway is coming your way on home video. Over 96 minutes of the best in country music. Here are some of the stars you'll see. Ralph Emery. Big welcome for Big Bill Anderson. My heart still Porter Wagoner. George Jones. Berlin Husky, the Wilburn Brothers, Buck Owens, Hank Snow, Hank Williams Sr., Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs, Skeeter Davis, Stonewall Jackson, Will Malee and Stoney Cooper, the Duke of Paducah, Hank Williams Jr., Audrey Williams, over 30 great songs. Over an hour and a half of great country music. Call toll-free 1-800-380-3023. Or send check or money order to Country Music on Broadway. Post Office Box 60433, Nashville, Tennessee, 37206. These days I'm keeping up with everyone I know. No holding me back when I'm ready to go. Around the house, to the mall, anywhere. In my great little ride from Invercare. What a great feeling, independent and free. It all started with a call to Southern Therapy. Yes, that's all it takes is just one call. And our mobility experts go into high gear, explaining and demonstrating our entire product line from Invercare. Power wheelchairs, scooters, manual wheelchairs, power lifts and ramps. Southern Therapy will even assist your doctor and work with your insurance company. Don't be stuck alone in neutral one more day. Make that call to Southern Therapy right away. You'll find a caring person on the other end to help you start enjoying life once again. With that call, you're on your way to be free. Get around to call in Southern Therapy. Thanks to Southern Therapy, I get around. Well, hello, NWA Worldwide, and this is old flamboyant Farron Fox coming at you, and I tell you what, you know anytime I come at you, I've got some exciting news, and this day is no different. You see, just last week, I was in San Francisco, California, yeah, right in front of the hometown crowd, and I did myself a big favor, and I walked out of that arena, or shall I say, sashayed out of that arena with a newly crowned 
intergender world champion. Yes, I am the new intergender world champion. And I tell you what, I'm going to bring that title back to NWA. And I'm not going to be one of those closet champions that run around here keeping their belts all the time. I'm going to be a fighting champion. And whether it be NWA Worldwide Nashville, NWA Southwest, or NWA New England, by the way, hi, Tony Rumble. <laughs> whether it be anybody to take on Farron Fox, I tell you what, when I come to the arenas near you, I'm going to make a little challenge. I'm going to guarantee you that there's not a woman in the arena that can beat Farron Fox. And I'm going to show you how confident that I am of that. And I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. And uh, I'm going to put $500. And if any woman in the arena wants to take a shot at Farron Fox and can beat me in five minutes or less, not only are you going to be the new intergender champion of the world, but you're going to be $500 richer. So I tell you what, you men, get the cattle trucks out, bring those women on down to the arena, and if you want a shot at Farron Fox, you better try to beat me if you can. Congratulations to Team Extreme, the brand new NWA World Tag Team Champions. Coming your way Friday night, March 5th, at the Texas Indoor Speedway Arena. It's a double tag team main event in the first round of the Texas Tag Team Championship. Canyon and Awesome Kong versus Moody's Mob. The Blackbird Posse versus Cruise Control. The winners will advance to the finals on March 12th. In other matches, four-time NWA Texas Heavyweight Champion Brian Adias takes on Kit Carson. Jimmy James to challenge the son of Playboy Gary Hart, Chad Hart. Chris Germany versus newcomer Trent Atkins. You can keep track of NWA Southwest on the World Wide Web at www.swarrestling.com. That's NWA Southwest, Friday night, March 5th, Texas Indoor Speedway Arena, 7601 Grapevine Highway at Loop 820 West, Fort Worth, Texas. Adults 10 bucks, children under 12, just $5. You're watching the shows you know on K.